major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services of Vermont, Washington County Mental Health, Ale Israel. Food sponsors for Ableton On Air include Geffen Foods Israel, Osem Foods Israel. Major media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Hello and welcome to this edition of Able to Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the, di- of the differently able. I'm your host, Lauren Seiler. And I'm, for, I'm Arlene Seiler. And for several years, we've been doing Ableton On Air in Vermont and beyond. We would like to thank our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many, many, many others. And Happy New Year. Um, we are in 2021. And um, on this show today, we will focus on the Centers for Disease Control, Prevention, and um, COVID-19 updates, and uh, many health updates on this uh, show today uh, for this uh, half an hour we have with you and our, you know, have with our viewers. Um, I would like to point out that um that um you can go to www.cdc.gov we we're, we're going to put that a uh, website up um during the show that's www.cdc.gov which is um centers for disease control and prevention and uh, um there's a website uh where you can uh, it says, Your Health and People with Disabilities. Uh, this is actually dated September 11, 2020, but, you know, information doesn't really change uh, um, too much. Um, but we're going to give um, updates as they come forth in several shows. On the, on the right side, or, or actually I should say on the left side of the screen, um, I'm going to point the website. So I, on the left side, on the on the um, left side of the screen, there there's a menu here. Um, actually, we can pop up the website uh, as we're talking to you. Um, basically, um, you know things you need to know: symptoms of COVID-19. Uh, in terms of the menu, testing, vaccines, how it spreads, prevent getting sick uh, if you are sick um, or not feeling well. Um, Older, it says, and there's a a heading that it says people people at increased risk. So let's go over that. That's really important. Um, People that are increased risk for severe illness, people that are most likely than others to get become severely ill. So if you are an older adult in Vermont at, or any other state that is watching this, uh, let, let's go over this. This is extremely important. Um, so um, if you are at risk for severe illness with COVID-19, and uh, and other underlying conditions, uh, pneumonia, colds, severe fever, chills, um, um, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, etc., etc. Um, you can uh, get the COVID nineteen uh, germ inside you, and um, you can get severely sick. So people that are with severe illness with COVID-19 increases the age with older adults at higher risk. Certain medical conditions can also increase risk for several illnesses, uh, severe illnesses. People at uh, increased risk and those 
who live or visit with them, um, people that live in nursing facilities, um, nursing homes, etc., much uh, <clears throat> must take precautions to protect themselves uh, from getting COVID-19. So, uh, increased risk of hospitalization or death. Now, that's more um, important than anything else. So, I'm going to go over that. Um, for example, COVID-19 increases with age and hope in adults with high risk. I know I'm repeating um, myself, but uh, for example, people in their 50s are 50s and 60s are higher risk of severe illness than people in their 40s. Similarly, similarly, people in their 60s and 70s are general higher risk for illnesses than people in their 50s. The greater risk and severe illness from uh, from COVID is people among that are 85 or older. Severe illness may include hospitalization, intensive care, or uh, people that are in uh, that are uh, that are on a ventilator that helps them breathe, or they may even pass away. Well, um, uh, it says here die, but pass away is a better um, way of um, saying it. Um, the risk of illness, COVID. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. CDC has information for older adults uh, at higher risk. Eight out of ten. COVID deaths reported in the U.S. have been adults 65 or older. Uh, please visit the CDC. Please visit cdc.gov uh, slash uh, for, um, forward slash coronavirus or actually backslash coronavirus for steps to re to reduce your risk. Um, uh, you know, please visit this website. This is extremely important. Um, now I'm gonna go over something that. Uh, so, 18 to 29 years old is the comparison group. 30 to 39 years old is two times higher, uh, and death is four times higher. 40, 40 to 49 is three times higher, and 10 times uh, hospitalization is three times higher, and death is 10 times higher. 50 to 64 is four times higher hospitalization, 4x, which is four times. And 30 times higher uh, increased death. 60 to 74 is five times higher hospitalization. And 90 times higher um, increased death. Um, 70 to 84 years old. Uh, 75 to 84 years old is eight times higher hospitalization rate. And 220 times higher in terms of death, um, and it, 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 it keeps increasing because of age. So the older you are, the more... Um, the more receptive you are. Exactly, exactly. And it says the last thing, um, now, um, other factors and precautions, according to this uh, website that we need to uh, talk about, um, which I don't like talking about, um, COVID-19 can hit racial and ethnic minority groups. Pregnancy, uh, it can affect pregnancy and, bre and breastfeeding. It can affect people with disabilities. Um, it can affect developmental and behavioral disorders. It can affect, um, uh, if, if you, uh, if you, if you do drug use or substance abuse, it can affect you from uh, passing away more um, profusely because you're um, doing drugs. Um, yeah, exactly. Now, um, um, here's a way of cope. Now, this is important um, in terms of coping with COVID-19, um, adults appear experiencing stress from COVID-19, um, let's go into veterans, which is a support for veterans, veterans are important, they're part of our country, 
Um, veterans may experience worry and or anxiety for contracting COVID-19 about their ability of uh, getting the recommended care. Fear, <clears throat> fear of or fear or concern about um, the impact of COVID-19 on physical health. Hold on, let me let me go here. So uh, I have to kind of follow along here. Um, f- physical health and daily life may contribute to the onset or worsen existing or mental health problems. In addition, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic may increase stress for many service members or people that were in the service and veterans making an already challenging transition from military to civilian life because of access to resources may be limited. To learn more about the Veterans Administration response to COVID, let's click here and go to the Veterans Administration response to COVID. Okay, so it brings us to the Department of Veterans Affairs. Um, their website is www. Uh, for more information on coronavirus for, with veterans, you can go to www. Public Health. Dot VA dot gov. That website is www dot public health. That's P U B L I C health dot VA dot gov. One more time. www dot public health dot VA dot gov. Um, so here it says, uh, what is the VA doing? In terms of public health and coronavirus, the VA has implemented an aggressive public health response to protect and care for veterans and their families, um, health care providers and staff in the face of this emerging health crisis. We are, they, they are working directly with the CDC and other federal partners to monitor the outbreak of the virus. Um, now, on their website, um, you can, um, it, it, it says, it talks about military exposures to the coronavirus. Uh, it, it talks about more about the COVID-19 uh, virus. We can click there. Um, so additional information. Uh, it says the VA is ready for the coronavirus and it's working to protect you and your family. So you can just click there and um, and go there. So uh, the VA is taking aggressive steps to, steps to uh, prevent COVID-19 tr- uh, transition. These measures include outreach to veterans and staff, clinical screenings at VAs, um, Healthcare facilities and protective procedures. Okay, so there's a lot of things um, that is going on. Um, right, right. With anything you want to say? I want to say something. If if you, let's. Uh, I just want to say something. If, Go ahead. Uh, your father was a VA, you know. Oh, my my you, father, huh? Can you can you get the vaccine faster? Um, no, probably not. I could check that out, but, um... I'd like to say something else. Um, um, I'd like to see that, um... Oh, uh, um, back at cdc.gov, um, it says you must wear a mask, stay six feet apart, and avoid, uh, we must avoid crowds. Um, anything else you want to say about um... the, the, the COVID? Mm-hmm. I would say that, you know, I hope that um, they make the, the vaccine available to us soon. 
because you know. Uh no, as far as that, according to Dale, the um, as a matter of fact, let's go to their website. We can talk about it a little bit. Um. And this is up there. Israel's uh, almost uh, done. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 well, they're giving the... Um, okay, so the novel... Um, so the, the, the... It says here, uh, Disabilities and Aging and Independent Living, according to Dale. Uh, we can go to www.dale.vermont.gov. That's D-A-I-L dot vermont dot gov uh according and monica hutt was on the show before um of able to on air so novel coronavirus information the vermont department of health is closely monitoring the rapid development of the outbreak of the coronavirus uh for the latest information guidance uh questions and answers and daily updates please um please visit the uh the Vermont Department of Health's website and so let's go there Vermont Department of Health uh what you need to know according to the Vermont Department of Health um COVID-19 what you need to know the prevention um it says the holidays are over and we are we return to the protocol that you may not gather with anyone that you don't live with. Please check for prevention tips. Okay. Um there are things according to the Department of Health in Vermont, there are things you can do to protect yourselves around from people around us from uh spreading COVID nineteen Wondering what you can do um, to stay healthy and uh, how you can approach the holidays or any holidays. Um, people that are high risk, let's go over this here. People uh, in Vermont, people with high risk, uh, it says find out who may be more at risk of for severe illness or more vulnerable with getting sick. Learn about the protections. Um, so if we want information, so let's let, let's go to the vaccine. Let's find out when Vermont is. Um, it says uh, if you want information about the vaccine, click here. So um, I guess we're going to be getting the vaccine soon. It does not say. Um, let me see. Read more. Um, yeah, I'm looking here. Oh, yes. Um, it will take a while for us to get the COVID. For, it will take a while for Vermont to get the COVID vaccine. But knowing that more than 14,000 Vermonters have been already vaccinated so far. So we can feel change according to Dr. Levy. Um, but it does not say when we are getting it. Um... I guess if you want more information on when we're getting the vaccination, uh, you can go to www.healthvermont.gov. Um, no, it, it, it only says, uh, for those who really want to know, um, our viewers, it only says that Vermont um, uh, has already vaccinated 14,000 people. So um, I guess we are going to be um, waiting uh, a little while longer until we can get the vaccine. Um, people that are in long-term care facilities are holding vaccination clinics. Um, but if you do not live in, in a long-term care facility, we're going to just have to wait. Um, I know everybody out there is a little bit antsy to... Um, when we can uh, um, uh, when we can uh, get stuff, but I um don't worry, um 
things will move along pretty shortly. I know that New York um, this month is going to be rolling out more vaccinations and other big states, um, L.A., New York, and others. Um, but Vermont... Uh, Vermonters will just have to wait. I know people don't want to wait and people are getting scared about waiting, but um, don't worry. Things will have its way of working itself out. Um, just um, contact the Department of Health or the Department of um, Independent Living, uh, Disabilities and Independent Living if you have any questions by going to their website. Um. Anything else you want to say? Mm, I have to say, you know, what's happening, but it's really, uh, it's really uh, hard because people are uh, very, uh, you know, very skeptical this time. You know. Yeah, I I know people are skeptical, but sometimes waiting. Um, as they say, good things come to those who wait, but um, don't worry, we're gonna, they're going to have the vaccine soon enough, according to Dr. Levine and the Department of Health. Um, the, when, when COVID-19 vaccine, according, uh, what? A seven-year-old priest punched in the face inside a subway station. Yeah, um, according to New York, um, and other big cities, there's a lot of, due to coronavirus, uh, uh, one thing I do want to say in terms of COVID-19, when schools are closed and people just don't, don't know what to do with themselves, um, they're causing havoc. We need to stop this. We need to stop the violence. We need to um, come together and work things out. Um, why is there more violence in New York and other big cities due to COVID? Because um, schools aren't open, centers aren't open, people can't get services, so um, people um, just don't know what to do with themselves. So please, 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 if we can work together to stop the violence, punching people in the face and, and, and uh, in subway stations and all of that, isn't going to solve anything. We need to come together and, and just, just relax. Um, if you have a problem in terms of Vermont um, and you want to contact Washington County Mental Health, if you have a mental health issue, please go to www.wcmhs.org. Uh, that is www.wcmhs.org. Um, we must stop the violence and not <coughs> and not do anything to hurt anybody else at this time. There is no need for um, subway violence. There's no need for uh, destroying somebody's home. There's no need for that. We need to come together to um, be a better people again. And now that we have a better administration, in about 15 days, um, things uh, should somewhat, I'm not going to say normal, because, it, um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go over this one, um, this one fact that's really important. In 2000. Let me look it up. How? Whoops. In 2020. So alone in 2020, um, COVID, de COVID deaths in 2020, the deadliest year in U.S. history. So, around the world, more than 3 million people died in 2020 uh, from COVID-19 alone. Wow. The deadliest year in history. If you want more information 
on that on this you can go to www.usatoday.com which is their um their website so USA Today newspaper um uh uh you can go so 3 million people in 2020 died from from covid in the US alone we need, we need to come together and stop the violence and really uh backtrack in terms of um helping helping our neighbors and with that said uh we would like to say uh thank you for joining us on this edition of Able and on air I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Um, contact the Department of Health if you have any uh, issues. Thank you to our sponsors, and uh, see you next time. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Lauren Seiler. Major sponsors for Ableton on Air include Green Mountain Support Services of Vermont, Washington County Mental Health, Ale Israel. Food sponsors for Ableton on Air include Geffen Foods Israel, Osem Foods Israel. Major media sponsors for Ableton on Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info Associated Press Media Editors U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International Anchor FM and Spotify